Hey, what's up, YouTube? Stacking and packing here with another two box half dollar hunt. So, $1,000 in half dollars to go through. We got two boxes of Loomis rolls. So, let's go ahead and get into what we've got. We're going to start off with box number one, where we're going to have no semi heavy rolls, no slightly heavy rolls, and no heavy rolls. Not a surprise. We got Loomis rolls. So, let's go ahead and get into box number two, where we're going to have two slightly heavy rolls and one underweight roll. And as you guys can see, we're missing quite a few coins there. Probably about four or five coins. We're weighing up at 180 grams. So, you know, we have not been getting silver with our Loomis rolls, and now we're getting shorted on our Loomis rolls. So, pretty fun. We do have some finds to start off the hunt. We have a proof half dollar. This is from one of our last hunts. We didn't have any silver in that hunt, so it's not going to be a video. Another proof. So, 1999 San Francisco and a 2002 San Francisco proof. We also have a silver dime now. We went to return our coins. This one's gonna be in 1962. Philly, we went to return our half dollars to the bank as I'm losing my voice here. And I got my receipt from the coin machine, which was like $999.60. So the teller gave me back some change, 60 cents, two quarters and a dime. And the dime just happened to be silver. So we got lucky there. We do have another dime on our board, and you guys are going to see that video. I'll show you guys real quick. It's not a silver dime. We got really bamboozled on one of our hunts, and we had a Loomis roll that was weighing up at 228 grams, and I was like, this is too good to be true, and sure enough, it was. That dime was sandwiched in our Loomis roll there, so uh, yeah, we kind of got, we got Loomis, I'm going to call it from now on. They Loomis dust, as that makes, uh, that's a weird, a weird one. Wow, guys, holy cow. Roll number three. And we just pulled a Benji out of a regular weighted roll. This is insane. As I'm talking smack about Loomis, we just got a Benji in a regular weighted roll. 1952, Philly. This is crazy. Roll number three, box number one. We've got silver in a regular weighted roll. Guys, that was insane. Finally, we're on the board again with some silver from Loomis. I think that breaks like a, I don't know how many box skunk, but we've been on a huge skunk streak. So now I'm gonna have to go a little bit slower here and really pay attention to these coins because that was just insane. Did not expect that. I thought it was gonna be a foreign coin, truthfully. And, you know, wow. Loomis just surprised me a lot. Anyways, five rolls done with box number one. We're gonna get into the rest of the box. Hopefully we can have that happen a couple more times and I'll bring you guys in for our next find. Okay guys, so we just finished box number one. No more surprise silver from our Loomis rolls, but hopefully box number two won't, won't be too bad. Hopefully we'll find another silver in box number two. And for those of you that have made it this long into the video, we're gonna quickly explain what we're doing for those of you that are new. So we are going through rolls of half dollars. These are coins that are 50 cents each here in the US. And we're looking for rare coins that are worth more than that. We're looking for silver, which is going to be 1964 and earlier. That's going to be 90% silver. 1965 to 1970 is going to be 40% silver. We're also looking for proof half dollars, which are specially made for collectors to buy in sets. We're looking for commemorative half dollars, which are similar to proofs in that sense, made for collectors to buy. Uh, we're looking for that 1987 not intended for circulation half dollar. And we're looking for errors and varieties. So hopefully we'll be able to pull out some of those and show you guys what some of those look like. You guys did see the proofs at the beginning of this video, but nothing in those first five rolls. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the rest of the box and I'll bring you guys in for our first find. Okay guys, so far no silver for box number two. We just have our one silver from box number one. We're gonna get started with our underweight roll. So we're probably missing a couple of half dollars in this roll. Let's see what we've got. And it looks like two corroded half dollars here. Make sure they're not silver. This one's a bicentennial and another bicentennial. So we found a couple of these in the box so far. 
corroded bicentennials. Let's get into our semi-heavy rolls, or slightly, I should say. And I don't think, nope, that's 1973. That's not silver. Get into that next one, another 225.9. Final roll for the box. Let's see if we have any silver. And I don't think so. That's not a proof. Nothing in these rolls. I'm gonna go ahead and double check them. Make sure we didn't miss anything and I'll bring you guys in for the wrap up. All right guys, so we didn't miss anything in any of those rolls. So let's go ahead and get into our wrap up. We finally got some silver from a Loomis roll, 1952. Silver Benji, this one's gonna be a Philly. We have a 99 San Francisco proof from one of our previous hunts, as well as a 2002 San Francisco proof from a previous hunt, a 1962 silver dime, this one's gonna be Philly, from a previous hunt, as well as a 2023 Philly dime from a previous hunt. So. Let's go ahead and add our silver to the silver jar for the month of July. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below as well as leave a comment and subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on our next hunt.